My name's Kurt Peacock. I was uh, a museum artist when the first Nebraskans exhibit was created. And this is, uh, the director at the time was Jim Hansen. And he uh, wanted Nebraskans to know uh, that they had a history before Lewis and Clark. And so the problem was the history was in French and Spanish. And uh, that's the interesting thing is the, uh, uh, with no English, uh, not, not many scholars had worked on it before Lewis and Clark. And that was his focus. The uh, uh, original painting is in the Museum of the Governors in Santa Fe, and that's in New Mexico. And Jim uh, wanted a copy, and so he took, put together a contingent of staff members, and he uh, took everybody down to Santa Fe. We were able to get a copy um, by the fact that the photographer there uh, in the museum had made four uh, by five color slides, and our photographer was able to get those translated into 35 millimeter slides, which then I was able to project onto the canvas that was created actually uh, hide, hide uh, leather. And uh, in order to do that, we had uh, a slide projector mounted on the ceiling and in the exhibit's uh, laboratory. And we'd found a, a lens which would focus in a short distance and that uh, uh, then I could focus on a wire running down to the focus mechanism and the uh, uh, hide was laid on the floor, so it was painted on the floor. This, the hide itself is, or was intended to be, um, um, brain tanned buffalo hide, which the original was, but back then the hide was stretched when it was first made and the buffalo apparently were bigger. Uh, Jim had a friend who brought along the uh, hides and they were too small. And I found that I couldn't get the image from the slide project to focus on it because it's like felt. And so there was, it wouldn't be crisp and I couldn't see it. So plan B, uh, we went to baseball tanned, uh, alum tanned leather. If we could move over here, I'd like to point that out. Right here where it's adhered to the wall, you can see that it's white and thin. It is baseball uh, alum tanned leather. The, uh, uh, the hides were sewn together, three sections just like the original. If you could come up here a little more. I want to show the, the stitching. These holes are punched to match on each side and they are stitched together with fake sinew. The original would have been real sinew. Fake sinew works just as well. It's like a, a, a thick dental floss and it's got the right color. It was uh, uh, like run through beeswax to give it that color and consistency. The uh, uh, watercolors were used as they were in the original and the interesting thing is that when you put in the drawing, the watercolor does not cover up because it is a, a transparent, so it doesn't cover up the original drawing. The uh, uh, colors used were, were modern colors at the time. Uh, one of the blues is called Prussian blue. And you can see it uh, got very dense in here because I learned that this Prussian blue had been invented just a few years before 1720, uh, did not fade. It was one of the only colors that didn't fade, but there was no green, even though it should have been green. So what I learned ultimately was that the yellow that you see here was gone and that the Prussian blue should have been green because it mixed with yellow was now all blue. And once I understood that, then uh, coming up with the colors was much easier because where there was no color, it was probably yellow. The, uh, the figures were drawn first in, uh, through the projection from the slide. And you'll notice that they're in uh, a red-brown color. 
but if you could zoom in here really close, you'll begin to see that there's pencil in there too. There are gray lines, which I could see, and the original has much more of this, but I could see some even though the slide wasn't perfect. And that's called the cartoon. It tells me that the person who painted this was trained by European standards. Um, and so the, the skill level is very high and the detail in the equipment and the detail in the faces um, is uh, almost like a caricature, as if the person who drew these knew the individuals uh, that he was painting. It took more time than what it should have to paint this thing. Um, and Jim Hansen, the director, said it was taking too long. And I told him I needed to be able to control the colors. And he said, no, you don't understand the culture. The colors are used at full power. And so I don't have to control them because the artist would not have controlled them. He'd use the strongest yellow, the strongest reds that he had, because that's the way it was among the Hispanics and the natives in the Southwest. Once I understood that, then the yellows were uh, painted all at one time instead of doing a little area and getting it right. He knew and I knew what the yellows were and so we could just paint all the yellows and we could paint all the blues <laughs> and it worked uh, and it went along a lot faster. That's, that's essentially the process, um, just to sum up. We got the images, we projected them on the uh, hides as we made them up and uh, drew them in and then uh, colored them. And uh, uh, that's really all there is to it.